Hi, my name is Rick Smith with Carter Fusion Technologies, and I want to introduce you to our new product, SitUMap, a multi-user, multi-touch mapping and planning application. The purpose of SitUMap is to expedite the map making process by allowing anyone to make a map without any previous mapping knowledge. This is possible through SitUMap's targeted, focused interface that really makes mapping easy. We were working really hard this last year to polish SitUMap into the best mapping experience for everyone. Therefore, I'm really excited to demonstrate everything SitUMap can do for you. So let's get started. Okay, so let me cover the basics of what SitUMap does. This isn't a comprehensive video, but it gives you a flavor of what SitUMap is capable of and how easy and natural it is to use this system to make a map or a plan. In the center of the map, we have your standard what we call a slippy map. So here I'm using two fingers to zoom in and zoom out by just pinching and pulling apart. The map can be rotated, so if I double tap on the north arrow in the bottom right hand corner, I can now rotate the map to any orientation. I can return it to north by just tapping the north arrow in the lower right hand corner, and if I double tap the north arrow, it locks my rotation, so I can't rotate it anymore. That's if you always want north to be up. Next to that we have the crosshairs, so I can focus on my current location. Here we go. I'm going to go over to the school here and kind of use this as a test bed. Now, on the right we have our main menu, and on the left we have our drawer system with three different drawers. Let me start by explaining the main menu, and then I'll move over to the drawer system here in a moment. So the very basic thing you can do in situ map is draw on the map. So if I choose draw, and then line, I can just drag with my finger and draw a line on the map. And when I say I'm done drawing, that drawing sticks to that map. I can draw on many different colors. And because such a map is meant for multi-users, I can have multiple simultaneous inputs. So here I'm dragging five fingers across the screen and it's getting them all at once. I can also erase very naturally by just dragging my finger back and forth across the screen to erase what I don't want. I can draw straight lines just by choosing the straight line tool in the upper right hand corner. And so now I can draw perfectly straight lines. The alternative is going back to free form and then it just follows my finger. Okay, so let me remove everything there to kind of clean up the map. The next thing I draw is polygons. So I choose the polygon tool and I just drag my finger and it draws whatever kind of complex I poly a polygon I wanted to draw. Again, very, very easy. And deleting them, you just tap it once and the polygon is deleted. Same thing for the circles. I choose where I want the center of the circle to be. I tap and I drag and it tells me what the diameter of my circle is. And when I release, it generates a circle. And once again, very easy to delete those circles. I can also measure very easily in situ map. So for instance, let's say we want to measure the uh, one time around this track. So I can choose measure and distance and I'm in freeform mode so I can just drag my finger as if I was running around the track. There we go and yeah I got close so 0.26 miles. I can do straight line distances as well just by dragging. There we go 387 feet. I can also measure area again just by dragging my finger on the map and then it tells me how many square feet and the number of acres. And then lastly, I can also measure the area of a circle. So I can say, uh, give me about 300 feet. And then once again, it tells me the diameter, how many square feet, and the number of acres in that circle. Once again, I can delete everything on the map to get rid of it. Okay, so now let's move from measuring and drawing to asset management. So over on the left in the pushpin menu, we have a lot of built-in pushpins for you. And so let's say I want to add a girl to the map. I just drag the girl and now I have a floating pushpin on the map. And once again, it's stuck. So as I move around the map, you'll see the girl icon moves with it. I can change the size of the girl icon by using the scroll bar on the bottom of the pushpin menu. And because it is multi-touch, I can drag multiple out at the same time and they're all independently uh, controllable. Each one of them has a text box so I can give them names. Um, let's say businessman and 
a little girl. They all have menus, so I can delete them. I can turn on drawing, and as I drag it, it creates a breadcrumb trail, which would be good for showing directions. And I can even duplicate, so it creates another one. Above the pushpin menu, we have the media drawer. And so what I can do is I can import different types of media into CityMap. So we support uh, your standard picture file format, so ping, JPEG, GIF, and TIFF, and we also support videos. So in this case, I'm going to bring in a floor plan. I'm going to drag the floor plan out onto the map, and close my media drawer, let me zoom out over here, and now I have a floating window with this floor plan. And you'll notice this little square in the middle stays on the screen, and that's the menu. So what I can do is I can say, hey, I want to draw on this floor plan, and I can actually draw on the floor plan and it doesn't affect the map. And I can even throw that floor plan back in the media drawer and then come get it later and the drawing is still on my floor plan. I can change the transparency of the floor plan and I can also save my drawings on the floor plan out to a brand new file. So you have kind of a built-in photo editor here. The other thing I can do is I can also stamp that floor plan to the map. So let's say that floor plan represents uh, this building here. So let me zoom in. Let me change the transparency a little bit. And I'm going to just kind of rubber sheet it in. I'm just going to get it real rough here for the demonstration. And I'm going to say stamp on the map. And I'm going to make it a temporary stamp because I don't want it to be there forever. And it's going to tile it. It's going to take just a moment here. And when it's done tiling you'll see that that floor plan is now, let me zoom out and zoom back in, is now stamped to the map. And so if I rotate the map or I move the map, that floor plan is now a part of my map. And so that means I can draw seamlessly indoors and outdoors. I can also hide the stamp. I can show it. I can clone it so I can bring it back out as a floating stamp. And I can even remove it from the map. And if you have, say, a multi-story building, you can stamp multiple stories on top of each other and they all run off of one menu system. So that is our media drawer. We also have a layers drawer. So if you have web map services uh, that you use and you have an existing GIS, we do support WMS and ArcGIS REST APIs as well as GPX GPS files. So you can bring those in as different layers. Uh, two more things to mention. So next we have the sharing panel. So if you want to share your map with every, anyone, you can take a screenshot do that now. If you uh, have not linked CityMap to Dropbox, it'll ask you to do that. I'm going to go ahead and skip that step for now. But what it'll do is it'll upload all your files to Dropbox. It'll generate a QR code on the left, and you can say scan that with your cell phone and send a screenshot of your map to anyone with a smartphone. On the right, you can send someone a screenshot of your map a .situmap file, which is our save file format, or you can even send them a KMZ file, which opens up your map in Google Earth. And you can even send an email from within Situmap with those attachments. So very easy to share. For bookmarks, you can save locations. So let's say I always want to come back to the school. So I can say create bookmark, and I'm going to call the school. And now, no matter where I go, I can always just touch school, and it takes me right back to where I was. And there's a number of other things that your map can do. You can view coordinates on the screen and UTM, mili military grid reference system, USNG, latitude and longitude. You can add text to the map anywhere you want. You can search for an address uh, or a latitude and longitude, view real-time traffic, even bring in timers and uh, have different timers running to kind of keep you track, uh, help you keep track of what's going on out in the field. Um, we have a built-in web browser. Uh, you can have sub maps. You can actually have multiple viewports all at once. So this is a separate map uh, from the main map, and you can actually draw on that map separately from from the other one. So that allows you uh, to to uh, look at different things, or say have one person working on this map, and you can make it larger by the way, um, and have another person working on the main map at the same time. And of course, you can change the map style from aerial view to road view. So as I've just demonstrated, whether it's one person mapping on a tablet or multiple people mapping collaboratively on a touch wall or touch table, CityMap really does let everyone 
quickly and easily make a map. So when you need to act fast and plan together, think SituMap.